Politics can sometimes divide people. Republicans and Democrats don't exactly hang out on election night. But at the University of Northwestern in St. Paul, two roommates are trying to change that line of thinking. Cole Berkland and Nick Solheim are sophomores. Cole is the president of the College Democrats. Nick is the chair of the College Republicans. And despite their differences, they are the best of friends. John Lordson's live at the Minnesota History Center, where WCCO Radio is sponsoring a debate viewing party this evening. Uh, John, no doubt Nick and Cole are going to be watching the debate tonight. They will be, and so will everybody else here. You know, people are starting to trickle in right now. The panel starts at 7 o'clock. Of course, the debate begins at 8 o'clock. But getting back to Nick and Cole, they don't agree on much. But instead of focusing on the negative side of politics, they're choosing to focus on the positive side. I had to answer the Donald Trump question. Yeah. Well, you did a pretty good. You did a pretty good job at it. It's not very often you see a Democrat lending support to a Republican or vice versa, but politicians of all shapes and sizes could learn a thing or two from Cole and Nick. I yeah. noticed you guys are sitting by each other on the couch, but there is a space between you. Yeah, this is this needs to be here. <laughs> needs to be. No, otherwise, otherwise, we otherwise things each other. would get out of control. <laughs> They're kidding, of course, because despite leading two different political groups on campus, these ideological yeah. rivals choose to live together. Not, uh, never actually have gotten in a fight never actually have uh, nothing's really collided other than right. he doesn't do his dishes <laughs> Cole and Nick met freshman year and we started off the year giving off uh, actually giving speeches on opposite political agendas through those they realized that they agreed on one main thing that they want their country to be the best it can be I think and that's when you also develop a respect for the other side you really you understand where people are coming from and that's when you can actually you can truly, you know, really work with each other. Outside this bipartisan dorm room is a conservative campus. Cole founded a college Democrats group at Northwestern and admits he's outnumbered, but he's still getting support from his right-leaning roommate. If we can have this exchange of ideas and have fun at the same time, I think, you know, that's in the best interest of everybody. And Cole did tell us he'll be voting for Hillary this fall. Nick will be voting for Trump. Both guys want to be politicians, of course, some days you might have guessed. I told them if that doesn't work out, they have a bright future as marriage counselors, if you really think about it. They are able to uh, kind of mend their differences and still live together, right? You got to love that. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with civil discourse. We need a lot more of that. So that was well done, John. Thank you very much. That as well. Indeed. All right. You